My son. My bottle. My house. I'm supposed to wake up. Ever? Oh, there's rock. We're going through each episode in order, and today we're breaking down Season 2, Episode 10, over, with 20 details you might not know. Stay tuned for two characters whose names I bet you don't know, and also for what some consider to be Heisenberg's theme song. Did you forget about the bear? Here's one more glimpse before the season finale. Although all the hazmat guys forgot to install filtration cartridges, so I guess they're breathing toxic bear fumes. Things start to get more concerning as we see the damage to Walt's car and two body bags. But we're back to the present in the aftermath of punching paper towels. Look at that, we don't have to hear all the coughing from now on. Mom wants a party. Skylar's ready to celebrate being in remission. Nothing too big, just family and a few friends. And by friends, she means Gomi, Carmen, and a dozen people we never see again. I have radiation pneumonitis. Actually, it's not as bad as it sounds. The news is all good. You mean like remission good? Mr. White, you kicked his ass, yo. No, you must be so psyched. Of course, I am. How do you want to? Proceed. Sell off what we have. And I guess... I'm done. I would like to make a toast. Somebody kill the music! I do see some familiar faces from the surprise party, like this guy. And I think this guy, who's going through his own Heisenberg transformation. Maybe more spin-off material? Hank does make one mean margarita. <laughs> <laughs> For the first time in a long time, we are so excited about the future. To Gretchen and Elliot, who made the amazing offer to pay for Walt's treatment. Look how skillfully they continue to hide Betsy's pregnant belly. Hey, how about the man of the hour? Of course Hank would put Walt on the spot. Yes. <laughs> when I got my diagnosis, I said to myself, why me? And then the other day when I got the good news, I said the same thing. Wow. Five or six ounces of C4. It's how those cartel boys party. Hey, uh, uh, top me off there, will you, buddy? Walt is drunk and thinking the thrill of his business might be over, he finds a new outlet for being Heisenberg. What you doing there? What does it look like I'm doing? Kid's 16. We going for father of the year? What are you looking at him for? We're celebrating. We've been bogarting this puppy long enough. Hey! Bring the bottle back. Sorry, buddy. No can do. It's my son. My bottle. My house. It's right. What are you waiting for? Bring it back. Oh, he's called it day. Now. What's going on? Junior knocks over the shots, but then they're back upright. <laughs> your brain. This is your brain on drugs. This is a reference to commercials from the 80s. This is your brain. This is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? You weren't supposed to wake up. Ever? I wanted to say that I I'm not exactly sure who that was yesterday. But you know exactly who I am. Walt Jr.'s request from the pilot finally comes true. Buy a new hot water heater. That's a gas line, so it shouldn't leak like that. When Skylar listens to Walt's message, they speed it up by removing some of the silence. We'll talk tonight, but I... I wanted to say... That hey there! I wanted to say... Wow! Who brought the churros? I find it so funny that nothing is plugged in, but then all of a sudden two things are, and then nothing again. This is the same hardware store where Jesse shopped for polyethylene tubs in season one. Got some real beauty. The hardware store was open during this, and customers would ask if they could be in a scene. I would totally do the same thing. What about tankless? The good ones will really run up your price, though. Twelve hundred. Uh, it's not an issue. Filthy blood money. This guy. What's his superpower? Kanga man. Only female kangaroos have pouches. Yeah, yeah, I know. But, you know, he's definitely a dude. Yo, I was a kid when I drew all these. It was like four years ago. Like you never wanted a superpower. She does get superpowers. As two of you have pointed out, Kristen Ritter would go on to be Jessica Jones. Is that your daughter of mine? Hey. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Hey. This, uh, is your dad? Yes. 
Hello? Hi. This is the lieutenant. Donald. Jesse. I'm sorry, did you need something? Want to take her for a spin? Oh, yeah. 117,000 BTUs. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Walt's probably trying to score dad points after the party incident. Sounds really good, Dad. But he just hurts him again. Oh, 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 careful, careful. I don't believe he touched that. Oh, oh, oh. Skyler knew about this before Walt did. Water heater that leaks rusty looking crap and, and is rotting out the floor of the utility closet. What was that all about? I don't think those are Nikes in that Nike box. It wasn't about anything. So I totally just misread your total diss? You think I'm going to be all like, hey, dad, meet the stoner guy who lives next door. And by the way, I'm sleeping with him. I'm talking about us. Us. The what? continuity errors with Jane's popsicle are pretty glaring. You and me. Who's you and me? Walt expands the scope of his home repairs. I was so sure this rack sign was fake, but it's real. This is being cut at a 45 degree angle relative to the floorboards, but that's not how the hole ends up looking. What are you doing? We've got rot! Walt's applying his desire to do something special to carpentry. Cut it out and start fresh. Just like with his showdown with Hank, he's trying to be the alpha male. Is the whole house gonna collapse or something? Not if I can help it. Go home already. Skyler's working late. Yeah, seriously, you're not gonna make me lock you in, are you? But it's still light out, so there's no way it's after 10 p.m. like her watch says. Skyler? There's supposed to be a light at the end of the tunnel. Lately, it just feels like... More tunnel. Some of these items are rubber baby buggy bumpers and electro pogatronic rectifier. Maybe this was the first sign that an audit was needed. In the background, you can hear a news story about the housing crisis, which is on point for 2008. Junior sneaks in a smile there, despite acting serious the rest of the time. Skylar and Junior are not impressed by Walt's display of masculinity. Are you going to work today? Finally, there's rot. Jesse and Jane make up thanks to Jane's apology drawing. Maybe Skylar's watch is just stuck at 10.09. Oh, damn! No, no, Ted, you don't have to do that. Walt appropriately gets Kills brand primer from Master Chem. Walt's a bit of a Master Chem himself. You're buying the wrong matches. Don't buy everything in one place. Walt goes from teacher to businessman. Stay out of my territory. The Bizarro Jesse and Walt are named Tweaky Dude and Thug Buddy. Shout out to my channel members. We've got a new one. Max Kappa, dealer of vibes. Thanks for all the emoji suggestions. After much deliberation, I've decided to add the RV and a Bunsen burner fire emoji. But maybe more will be on the way in the future. Please subscribe so you don't miss out on these weekly videos. The next three weeks are the last three episodes of season two. Click on the playlist to relive the best moments of Breaking Bad in order.